Hi guys and welcome to Cyber Warriors YouTube channel and once again I am back with a new topic on web designing. So most of you guys were asking about Photoshop and Corel Draw tutorials. Yes, the tutorial was yes, the tutorial will be posted soon as soon as possible. So first of all I would like to thanks you all that Cyber Warriors YouTube channel family has successfully completed 1000 plus subscriber and this has happened just because of your love so keep supporting our channel subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so today we are here to start the beginning series of html this is especially for those who do not have any kind of knowledge about html that what html stands for and what is it what's the use of it etc so let's get started So first, first of all, the full form or you can say that HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now what is Hypertext? The meaning of Hypertext is like whenever we search on Google or being Yahoo search engines like what is computer or HTML. So the Google shows us a uh, several links then we click one upon them and it redirects us to another page or it redirects us to the same page and internal linking with the help of internal linking it scrolls down so the hyper means whenever we click on a link it should redirect us to a certain different page or certain different text that is the meaning of hyper text as you can see that and there is also a term called hypermedia that means whenever we will clicking on a media it can be jpg it can be gif file it can be png it can be video it will also redirect us to a certain task or page you can say now what is markup language we will discuss it soon so let us start with the first point html is a markup language that web browser used to interpret and compose text images and other material into visual or audible web pages now first of all please do remember html is not a programming language it is just a markup language now why it is not a programming language the reason behind is HTML doesn't have a decision making capability like in languages like C, C++, Java, Perl, PHP there we have the capability of making decisions like if statements, looping statements, switch statement where we can make certain decisions right that if this decision is true this will happen else that will happen so these kinds of statement can't be run or cannot be implemented into HTML that's why it is not a programming language rather it is a markup language itself now HTML is not case sensitive okay so by the term not case sensitive it means that either you write HTML in capitals or write HTML in smalls or write the both mixtures of capitals and smalls case all of them means the same because it is not case sensitive so don't be worried about that you have typed all the codes in capitals etc so next thing is that HTML uses markup tag to define a web page so HTML file has an extension of .htm or HTML. You can use both uh, one at the same time. Either it can be HTML or HTML. HTML is developed by World Wide Web Consortium. As you can, as you know that the WWW is one of the largest consortium provider in the world. Currently, we are using the HTML5 version 
you do not have to know programming languages to start getting started with HTML right you need a simple browser and a text editor to implement HTML now we will be saving the HTML with the extension .html or htm and will execute in in a certain browser so let's get started with our practical so here I have the notepad plus plus so first of all take a new document I have already taken a new one then click on file and click on save as here you need to select by scrolling upward you need to select all types and provide any name for your file after that you need to type dot html and save it simply okay so it will prompt to a page with the name of cyber dot html so these kinds can be used to implement the web pages and all so this was a very short video the next video has also been posted please like this video and comment your doubts and watch the next video so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe